Welcome back to Amaze TV. My name is Neen James and thank you for joining us. Thank you to so many of you who've kindly tweeted, written comments below, shared this with your friends and on Facebook. We so appreciate you. I wonder if you get nervous before you speak. Do you get nervous before that company presentation? Do you get nervous before you give that speech? If you do, today I'm going to give you five strategies to overcome the nerves that you face. As an opening keynote speaker at conferences and associations for my corporate clients around the world, what happens is I love to speak. But often, after I've spoken, people come up to me and they say, oh my gosh, I get so nervous before I speak. How do you do it? So here's five strategies to help you. Number one, change your focus. Now here's what I mean. Often the reason we get nervous is the center of our thought is wrong. We're all worried about ourselves. Do I have the right outfit on? Have I not done enough preparation? Who am I to be doing this presentation? Well, of course you're gonna get nervous if you think about yourself. The second thing that people worry about is the audience. They think, oh my gosh, what if they ask me a question I can't answer? Oh my gosh, the head of the company is in the audience. Oh my gosh, these are my peers. Mm. Well, of course you're gonna get nervous if you worry about the audience too. Stop thinking about you, stop thinking about them. Simply think about us. Here's what I mean. Instead of making it all about the worry, consider it a conversation, not a presentation. Simply turn all of what you're thinking about into a conversation. Make it about an opportunity for everyone to engage in a conversation. And we don't get nervous in conversation, right? The second strategy is to really know your content. And I know this sounds obvious. It drives me crazy when people stand up and they say, I'm just going to wing it. Never disrespect an audience by not being prepared before you stand up. It is a privilege to stand in front of a room of people and share your message. So know your content, do your research, rehearse, check everything, check the facts, check the stories, check the case studies. Make sure everything you're delivering is true, relevant, and meaningful for that room of people. So know your content. The third strategy when it comes to overcoming nervous tension is have a pre-game routine. Now here's what I mean. Know what you need to do. Arrive early, check the slides, go through every single one, make sure the video works, the microphone works, the sound works. Make sure you know the room set up, who's going to be in the room, and wherever possible, meet people in advance. And that leads me to my fourth strategy, which is meet and greet. I love to meet everybody, as many people as I can. And understand, I know I speak to thousands of people, but I shake as many hands, learn as many names, meet as many people as I can. And I'll tell you why meet and greet is so important. When you know the people that are in the room, whether it's just meeting them around the conference table or at a large opportunity as a keynote speaker, the more people you meet, they're not strangers anymore, they become friends. And so you're presenting a conversation to a room of friends. It takes the nervous energy out of it. And my fifth and favorite strategy is this, be playful, have fun. So when you think about it, it's obvious, I know, but smile. I am astounded at the amount of people who don't smile when they present. When I'm running, I have this mantra that I got from a friend of mine. He's an Iron Man, and he said when he was running, he would say, I love this, I love this, I love this. Well, I do that when I run as well. And sometimes my runs, I don't feel like that. But what's really funny about that is no matter where I am on my run, it always makes me smile. What's your mantra? Have fun, be playful, look at the audience and go, wow, this is amazing that I get the opportunity to serve this room of people. Have fun with it. Audiences want you to do well. They want to engage in the conversation with you. So that's my five strategies. Change your focus, know your content, have a pre-game routine, meet and greet and be playful. What would you add? Write your comments down below. What are the things you do to overcome the nervous energy that you have? My friend Rory Vaven had this great saying. He said, and I saw it on Instagram on one of his posts. He said, you can't be nervous when you stand in service. That's our job. Our job is to stand in front of the room in service of those people, whether it's five, 50, or 5,000 people. In order for us to be amazing, meaning in awe and wonder every day, I want you to stand in front of a room of people and go, wow, this is an amazing opportunity 
To truly be amazing means to have impact and influence. And speaking is just one of the strategies that allows you to do that. So today, I challenge you, can you be amazing? Amazing.